Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Jacksmith, a very old Flash game that seems to have been smashed with tons of ads that probably don't even work anymore, because this game doesn't work. I, you know, I, I'm like scraping the bottom of the barrel now for, for looking for Flash games. I remember playing this when it came out, and I was like, I'm not going to use this for my channel, but... You know, I think I'll do one episode. I, I know why I didn't do it for my channel. It's very long and very repetitive, but I think it might be, I think it might be cool for one episode. Someone suggested it like a year ago. I'm sorry, I do not remember who you are. You're probably not watching this, but if you are, um, sorry, <laughs> I don't remember who you are. Um, so new game will be uh, cross. All right. Meet Jacksmith, a very talented blacksmith, and his furry apprentice, Scott. Or did that say Scout? Jacksmith enjoyed his job, but horseshoes and hinges weren't paying the bills. Across the lowlands lived the royal uh, Plumfeather family. King Plumfeather and his wife... So I don't remember ever reading this, but they ruled... Uh, beyond was a rat wizard named Dudley. Now I'm just, like, skimming. Uh, and he had, like, a scrying thing, and he was obsessed with a girl, and he apparently spied on her in her room, which is really creepy. So then he got a staff and a dragon and elemental spells, and he kidnapped the princess, as evil wizards do. Uh, and then they offered, like, two dollars for his capture, uh, if you could save the daughter. Uh... Jack Smith, who desperately needed money, packed up the forge and hit the road to save the princess. Jack Smith could craft a flawless weapon, but using one of his specialty... Okay, look. I, <laughs> I do like that he's not a hero. He's just an entrepreneur. You don't see that a lot. Um... I will level you with you. This is essentially a cooking game. I feel like they were like, what if cooking game, but for aim aim for little boy demographic. That's what I feel was the origin of this game. Because uh, it, it plays just like you, you get orders, and then you need to do little mini games in order to, um, to craft things. So now I'm, I've got a sword there. So we have to choose the material, just like you choose like ketchup or something. Now it's cooking in the oven. If you want to increase it, you can bellows till it gets to the the line here. And then you have to pull this rhythm like slowly. If you pull it too fast, it's gonna spill like that. I just I did that on purpose. Um, then you gotta take your hammer. You gotta go bang, 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 bang. And you want to get the entire edge of the sword. Uh, if all a pot, I missed I missed a few spots. All right, then you drag the guard, and you gotta drop it right in the center. Boom, perfect, it said. I did it perfectly. Boom, awesome. Awesome, but not perfect, I see. It almost seems like a slight to say it's awesome at this point. And then you see how well you did. Now, 100% foraging, that, that was good. That was good for my first one, though I did practice this a little bit to see if this, I even wanted to do a short video. I did really bad my first time. <laughs> Made some ridiculous crooked sword. I'm just gonna make, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna order this copper. You have infinite copper. Um, I, I know that someone else is gonna order a sword. So you can actually make two swords at once. While one of them's baking, you can put another one in. And you pull this down. And that's all the forging is. Um, if you let these overbake, though, you'll lose forge points, because it'll be too molten. So you don't want to leave two, uh, two swords unattended. I need to return the other one. Alright, so, if you hammer poorly, it won't have enough battle power. That's pretty good. Alright, so boom. Now, you would think you could just take all the time you need, but later on, uh, you won't have enough time to do everything if you don't, like, hurry the hell up. So, you'll be doing things really fast, and that means that you might mess it up more. Uh, and it, that'll definitely happen. <laughs> like, sometimes you just need to get those swords out so that, uh, well, you'll see. Because there is a second component to the game. 
Uh, materials also have, like, elements and stuff. These are all, like, the basic ones. Um, and then you get to see which... Well, you'll see. You'll see in a second. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, no soldier can select this weapon. Oh, because no one ordered a sword. Aha! Look at that crap. Boom. Well, I like how it got worse as I get... So the faster you go, you also get bonus money, and you can use that to buy materials later. But once the day is over, um, the soldiers will actually fight with your swords. They will do better if you made better swords. All you can do is get the loot. You note that uh, in the background, uh, the dog's over there just watching. Nice. So, these are the monsters here. If they defeat all of them, I will get a treasure chest at the end that'll have some nice rare materials and money, I think. I think it has money. It might just be rare materials. Oh, this is the last one. This is their health, by the way. It's the health of the weapons. I guess, um... The guys never take damage, it's just my weapons. So, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Bunch of immortal army, they just need the weapons. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so we got like coal or something and some scrolls, I don't know. And then you level up. What does the level do? I have no idea. Um, I think this game even had like micro purchases, which is ridiculous. I doubt you could do that anymore, but yeah, we got some rare materials here. Then, right there, there was an ad, which I'm just going to cut out every time, because uh, it appears every single time. So Flashpoint Paradox, really good, but uh, it emulates whatever was in the game at the time, and if it had ads, the ads are now in the game forever, even if they're not advertising anything. So later on, there'll be, like, monsters that have obvious elements, and then you want to, um... Then you're, then you're going to want to uh, actually <laughs> look at elements and stuff. We're going to make a better bow. Um, also, I know that you ordered a bow. See, I know what's happening. I know that everyone here is going to order a bow. You're going to be a bunch of birds. You're going to be a bunch of bird bow ordering fools. All right, that one looks like that's good. Pull. Oh, that was too much. Went too fast there. Let's go back to the other one. Oh god, there's actually a sword guy. What if I don't need two bows? Then I'll have been wasting my time. Well, I'm assuming there's gonna be another bird man. I don't know. Look, when I first played, it was all birdmen, so I certainly overstepped my bounds there. I'm gonna make a nice copper sword. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope another bird shows up. So in here, in here you need to stretch this. That looks pretty good. I stretched it pretty evenly. Then you choose this. I chose the special one. I don't know what that means, really. You're going to choose a special uh, Fletcher. I don't actually know what that part of an arrow is called. Oh, that was the tip. That's the back. All right. Boom. That's a good-looking bow if I ever saw one. Uh, <laughs> other people would say that they've seen better ones. Good. There was another bow that was needed. <laughs> uh, stretch. Stretch. A little bit cockeyed, but you know. It'll shoot. I can shoot. Perfect. I really thought that was going to be a little bit off. Alright, and I don't like that the achievements block your score sometimes. Oh, no. Oh, I left that in for way too long. It's This is going to be like a jelly sword now. It's fine. We're just going to go with it. Oh, look at it. It's cracked. It's cracked. Bad durability. Uh, it's fine. You can you can take whatever. Yeah, look at this, though. You got a cool thing. I'm just going to waste the really good materials on this really bad sword. It'll make up for it. There we go. <laughs> Those cracks add character. Um. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, let's do this. There's four monsters this time. Boom, boom. I mean, that looks fine. We'll probably still be okay. Those are some good bows, you know? Is it, what? What was all that treasure? Did they just... I don't know where that extra treasure is from. I thought maybe the bow guys just, like, skipped a monster. But... There we go. Yeah, that sword's definitely taking more damage than the bows. I didn't know that much. Oh, God. Weird attack. Used an area of effect attack. You're gonna hit all my guys. 
Yeah. We're fine. We're fine. That sword's gonna break off screen, but not while I'm playing. I mean, maybe, maybe it will while I'm playing. Uh, oh, yep, he's out of here. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I still got it. Yeah, if, um... If your sword, if the your weapon breaks, the, the guy runs away and your attack power is decreased, so... Alright. Alright, cannonball! This allows me to support people while they're fighting. Uh, it is not a new weapon that I will be making. And I, I'm just gonna play till here, till I get to the end of this map. There's a lot of maps, it goes on for a very long time. I do remember beating this game when I was younger, but... Hello there. I've got some items in stock if... Oh, you talked way faster than I said. Alright, so this is where I can spend my money. Uh, my money's right there. If I like them on Facebook, what happens if I click this? It actually... They still exist, guys. They still exist. I, I'm actually shocked to find out that not only does their Facebook page exist, it is still active. And it actually gave me the 100 just for clicking. So if you try this on Flashpoint, uh, you know, <laughs> you can do that. Uh, so, like, these are the different elements. Um, this is probably just, like, more health or something, right? Because it's just a heart. Or is it life magic? I don't know. I, it's, let's get out of the shop. All right. Um, no, the, the birds will always order a bow. <laughs> Like, that, that'll that never change. Just make you a nice iron bow. No one else is coming, so this bellows a bit. It's nice to have two, uh, two weapons cooking at the same time, but sometimes there's not two people, so what are you gonna do? Plus, you might overkick the sword, and then it'll have a bunch of embarrassing cracks and break at the long moment, so, you know. Hear it? Ah, that's plenty, plenty straight. We'll put a good guard on it. Let's put my most jagged, stabby, stabby piercer. You're gonna have great, great arrows. Be oh, that's a badass looking bow. I'd be proud to shoot that. So, <laughs> it's a little, it's a little crooked, but you know, you know, gives it character. It's more humiliating to be defeated by a crooked bow, they say. We're actually doing it to shine our opponents on. Okay, uh, all right, sword. That's why. That's why. <laughs> They, they got me last time. I went ahead and I, uh, I jumped the gun and I... I oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> that was close. Almost had cracks in my bow. Cracks in my bow, tears in my fro. Ah, <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. Boom. There. Okay, well, <laughs> great. <laughs> Oh, that, that actually was pretty good. Uh, I don't know why. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. This sword won't break embarrassingly, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that stabber. Oh. We got this. Yeah, you'll do great. It'll be fun. Lightning, and if you <laughs> sound a little bit crooked, what's that? What's the little bottom part? It's fine if it's crooked. It's, I think it's fine. Guess we'll find out. It's weird. They 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 really weren't mixing the uh, the animal races when I first played this. It looks like it's random what you get. I had three arrow guys, which is a much worse party than what we have currently. Y you want someone to take the damage, but it looks like they all take the damage every time. But yeah, there's my cannon. My, my dog friend is shooting in the back, providing artil artillery support. Boom. And it looks like you get other abilities here. I, 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 don't, I didn't play that far. I only played the first stage, and then I'm probably good. Boom. Boom. 
And fire! Alright, that's all of them. We did pretty well there, I'd say. These weapons might even be able to be used in a second battle. Oh, that was a pretty badass looking hilt. I gotta say. Sure, I found some cool things. Now we got axes. The double axe. Alright. Also, like a lot of cooking games, the game's fun as long as they keep on introducing new elements, and I seem to remember them, like, drying out before the end. <laughs> or drying up. Alright, who you got? I don't want to be presumptuous, but axe. There we go. I'm gonna presume all the umptuouses. Uh, iron axe. Yeah, that'll take a little bit. There's no way there's not gonna be two axes, right? I'll make it... Oh, I didn't have enough for the other one anyway. That's gonna take forever. Oh, you want a sword. Uh, hope another guy that doesn't come wanting a sword. I might, I might get in trouble. <laughs> Looks like I made an axe. Well, I won't get in trouble. I'll just have wasted the materials, which isn't great. Alright. Oh! It's a li little spillage. It's just a little. A little's fine. You just don't want massive spillage is all. Alright, let's get the sword out of the way. It seems really fast for, for forging a thing. I don't want to use my best one. I want to say... <laughs> I'm glad I didn't use my best one. Oh dear. That was very off-center. Doesn't look off center though. Well, I really hope there's another goat man waiting there for me. Ah, oh, crap. All right. Well, one of these axes is useless. That's fine. That's what I get. Wait, which one's the good one? Which one's the good axe? Crap. I think it's this one. All right. This is this is the one we want to use. Um. There we go. Looked like that was on pretty straight. Now this is this is ridiculous. You gotta make the handle. <laughs> and there's just a lot of pieces to it. Okay. That oh, doesn't look crooked. I thought it would. I'm telling you, I got all Goatmen the first time I played this. It was ridiculous. Oh, order. What what do you want? <laughs> what do you want, Birdman? Alright. Bello, 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 bello. Bello, 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 jello. Alright, we're gonna stretch you out. Oh, that looked perfect. Perfect. Basic arrows, but you know what? Perfectly basic. The best type of basic. Boom! Literally a perfect weapon. And I guess we're just gonna, instead of keeping that axe, we're just gonna throw it into the fire. Alright, we got a full adventurer's party here. Of a goat, a pig, and a bird. Bam. You think the the pig ever needs to stop because he gets hot in his arm and just starts rolling in the mud? I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. Oh, cool. I think... Is he damaged? Yeah, you, you can damage enemies even if they're not on screen. <laughs> he, he's got the long range support there. We've got five guys to go through. I, I am uh, absolutely a little bit worried. A little bit worried. Because <laughs> that, yeah, that bow, that bow was weak. I don't know if I'm going to do this simply because I presumed that there'd be two axes. And now... We're not going to defeat the last guy. Now, if that happens, by the way, you just go on. It doesn't end. You just get less stuff. Which means you could probably get into a state where you're just progressively screwed. Because I don't think you can go back to a previous battle or anything. Um, in addition, I see no reason why our cannons couldn't just defend the realm by themselves. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I screwed up by making that axe, man. If, if the bow lasted longer, it would have been fine. Would have been fine. But I had to be a little... 
a little presumptuous, perlumptuous. So I'm getting less things now. Beware, pig roast. Oh, is this the second? I, I think, I guess I was gonna stop here. Ah, uh, we'll do one more. Um, you start seeing fire enemies today in Cider Springs. They're stronger, but some elemental parts will help. Um, like what? Is it ice? Alright, he wants a sword. Let's give this man a sword. Nice iron sword. And I can, you can tell the order is in the top left, so I shouldn't be presuming. Ah, okay, so now there's another order. You want an axe, me thinks. You want to be an axum ranger. Let's get a nice bronze axe going. Meanwhile, we're gonna bang, 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 bang. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna, we're not screwing around now. Um, I mean, will will rock help against fire? I don't know. That looks like a pretty good sword, though. I'm just saying. I'd be honored to wield that. Another sword. No, no bows today. Ah, gotta make a copper one. Don't gotta cho- Oh, no. I don't know why I thought I finished that. I would have been uh, a lot more <laughs> quick to go back. Oh, yeah, there's a few cracks in that. Oh, I don't think we're we're doing anything today. Although, do you even need to, to pass? Does it, if it just goes on no matter what... Does anything matter, is the question. Um, hearts. Is there really nothing to tell me, like, what element is good against what element? Ah, that, that one, oh my god. <laughs> I gotta stop multitasking. I'm completely forgetting what's in the oven here. But now, now it looks like there's another order, so I'm gonna need to make at least four swords. Or four weapons. As opposed to two. Um, this one. Oh, dear. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. It's not all falling apart. Why would you say such a thing? Um, hey, do you have any ore? Give me some bronze ore. Cool. Um... <laughs> We need to make up for this somehow. I don't want to, don't want to just make another uh, an iron one or the the copper one. Maybe that'll be enough for all my broken weapons. I mean, what if the the elements like what if fire is good against fire? What if that's how it works? Because I don't seem to have anything that would like counter fire. I just have fire and lightning. So, like, maybe this is good against fire. The butter, the monarch butterfly is famously strong against fire. I don't know. <laughs> Let's say. I don't know how I'd even tell that by looking. It's not like I see individual damage. Just everyone shoots everywhere. It's madness. Alright, here comes my RPG party. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Bam. All right. These first two guys are normal, though. Wham! All right, pig roast is coming. The fire pig. I mean, yeah, I can't, I can't tell who's doing more damage there. Everyone's being a crazy. We might pull this off, though. I mean, we did pretty well against that first roasty pig. Oh, that sword's gonna break. Oh no, okay, thank god, he didn't get to attack again. But if he had... Uh... Alright, he's out. Fire the cannons! Oh, they, everyone might leave a nice shot. Oh god, come on, come on. We just hold together. Boom! <laughs> you are the sole survivor. Bam! 
All right, good. We got we got a bunch of iron there that we would not have had, <laughs> and I failed that. Oh my. Do 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 do. I re again, I don't know what this experience does at all, at all. And another reason, like they're doing this mobile style, I don't think they expect me to beat this all in one sitting, which is probably why it like takes so long. All right, pointed shield. What are you gonna do with those shields? All right, one more just because they introduced a shield. I guess here they introduce spears. I'm not gonna play this long. Day six is the last one. You get you get the idea. <laughs> All right, there's a fire piranha now. All right. Ooh. Someone wants a shield. What is what was that even? What is what is your rate? Oh god, I don't have enough steel to do steel. I want steel, bro. You got any steel for me? Ugh. I'll take iron. I'll take iron. Not above taking iron. Yeah. All right. Oh, I need to remember that's baking. Oh no, that, that is too close. <laughs> Shouldn't leave now. Yeah, I definitely would have. Would have had cracks in that shield, which you really don't want to have cracks in shield. All right. Um, the sword though can just start baking. Gonna make a steel sword. All right. Just remember. All right. Um, put paint on it. <laughs> oh, that's gonna look bad. All right, back to the... Oh, no, the sword's good. The sword's good. All right. Put it in the center. Oh, is that it? Okay. So, so the more fashionable the, the, the shield is, the more powerful it is. I guess people are just like, Ah, oh, that emblem is too powerful. I can't do anything about it. Iron. All right, perfect. Look at this, look at this sword. Taking forever though, because it's I guess it's iron. All right, I hope my ax doesn't burn, because I'm gonna strike while the iron's hot, as they say. Eh. All right, that took a very long time. <laughs> Pump it! Nice. I mean, you see, it, this is a this is a cooking game. I'm just cooking weapons <laughs> instead of burritos. That's a little uneven. That's fine. No one will <laughs> no one will notice. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Nice. And uh, this one has darkness. I've imbued it with darkness. And fire. God, was something was something cooking? I feel like something was cooking. No, all right, I wasn't a dumb. Another sword. You guys just make having me make boring swords. I could make double axes. That's fine. You use what you use. You fight with the army you have. Uh, this one has plant power. So. If I fight, I mean, what do plants defeat? Uh, <laughs> carnivores? Uh, probably health carnivores. Because their food eats the food. I don't know what plants would be strong against. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. That looks pretty good, I think. And uh, and uh, a heart. Let's give it some heart. 100, 190, yeah, nice. See, my hammering was great. You just gotta make sure the outside is white. Doesn't matter how good you do it, you know, just make sure it, it gets done. Now, how are you gonna use the shield? Okay, he's using it like Goofy in Kingdom Hearts. I, I guess I don't know how else he would use it. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you would think he'd use it to defend or something, but no. Um, I do appreciate, you can see like the little scraps of paint missing, I think. So like, the way you forge it does affect how it looks in battle. If you make a really embarrassing looking one, it's gonna look embarrassing. I, I do appreciate that they kept that. Just a few pixels, just a few pixels of paint missing. <laughs> 
I used like all around high level materials this time though. I don't yeah. We're 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 okay. Hog's blade. A non fire elemental version of the pig cooker or whatever the hell it was. Boom! Final shot goes to me. Yeah, sorry, goat boy. <laughs> eh. Yeah. All right, and and a cannon fire just for fun. We we defeated thirty enemies. Dun da 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 da. I'm a defenseman. Ooh, looks like we got gold. Gold seems like a terrible material to make a sword with, but okay. Gold swords are gonna be crummy unless you're playing Azure Dreams, but that's just my opinion. Don't want to argue with the blacksmith. All right, um, you now see water enemies as well as fire enemies. <laughs> Whatever. Um, that's it. Show's over. Uh, I, there's a chance I'll do more of this, but there'd have to be interest. I don't even remember if there's an ending to this game. I bet there's a lot of people that started playing it and then stopped, which that would be like the only reason I'd want to continue would be to show people. Uh, but again, I don't even know if it, it might just be like, congrats, uh, you made money, but bye, bro. It might just be a text block tell, saying victory. <laughs> It'll be the ending to that Ghostbusters game. But uh, I am Cross Knights. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I, I bet there's a few more like flash dregs that I haven't I haven't uh, clawed through, but who knows if I'll bother? I probably will bother at this point. I miss them. I miss the quick little the quick little games that aren't really made anymore. But all right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Later.